Welcome to another video about 2N. This time we are introducing a brand new driver version that brings native compatibility with Crestron Home's lock features. In addition to supporting locks, this version introduces a new licensing model based on the serial number of the Crestron Home processor. That means you can now use as many 2N devices as you want within a single project, while only needing one license. Let's begin the implementation. First, select the room where you want to place the 2N driver platform and the related extensions. Go to the driver's menu, choose platform, then select 2N. Before proceeding, make sure the available version is at least 2.0.0. Enter the IP address of your 2N device, then input the license key you previously purchased from our store and generated on our licensing server. If you're not sure how to complete that step, you can find a detailed video in the description below. Next, choose how many extensions related to lock functionality you want to generate. These include lock, gate, and garage door types. We'll add two lock extensions, one gate, and a garage door extension for this demo. On the following screen, enter the username and password that you've already configured on your 2N device, then click Next. At this point, the platform will be added to your system. For best performance, we recommend going to the 2N switch settings and setting the switch mode to Bistable. This allows you to control both on and off states directly from the Crestron Home app. Also, don't forget to assign the correct relay or output in the controlled output field so the driver knows which switch to use. Now open the Manage Platform section and add the garage, gate, and lock extensions. Assign each one to the corresponding switch that you've already configured inside the 2N device settings. Once this is done, the driver will automatically appear in the room you selected, but it will also show up on the Crestron homepage under the Access category. When we tap the Access tile, we're taken to a detailed control page. In the top left corner, you'll notice an icon that takes us to the Smart Access interface, unlocking the full potential of our driver. Let's take a closer look at what it offers. First, we select the lock we want to manage. In this case, we only have one lock available, the one we previously added. After selecting it, we'll see a settings icon in the top right corner. Tapping it reveals two powerful configuration options. Let's start with Auto Relock. This setting is currently enabled and set to automatically lock the door five seconds after it's been unlocked. As you can see in this demo, once we unlock the door, it automatically locks again after a five second delay. Exactly as expected. Now let's take a look at the privacy feature. When privacy mode is turned on, the lock immediately closes and remains locked, even if we try to open it again. The system ignores unlock attempts until we disable privacy mode. As shown in this example, we attempt to unlock, but the lock stays closed, demonstrating that privacy is actively blocking access. Now let's demonstrate how to manage users and assign them specific lock access, including various scheduling options. In this example, we'll create four different users, each with a unique access schedule assigned to the same lock. Let's start with the first user. We select Always as the access type, which allows this user to unlock the door at any time using their assigned PIN. After adding the user in the Crestron Home app, we open the 2N interface and confirm that the user has been successfully added with unrestricted access to the assigned lock. In our second example, we create a user named Alex and assign him a recurring access schedule, allowing all day access on selected days. When we check in the 2N web interface, we can clearly see this recurring schedule applied to the lock entry. Next, we add a user named John. He also has a recurring access schedule, but this time with a limited time window, from 9.58 a.m. to 5 p.m. on selected weekdays.
Once again, the 2N system reflects the schedule exactly as configured in the Crestron app. Finally, we add Lindsay, who receives a temporary access type. Her access is granted only for one and a half days. When we check the 2N interface, we can see her full access is active, but with a clearly defined expiration date and time, just as we set it. In addition to adding users, the Crestron Home app allows you to modify user access, change schedules, or delete users at any time, and all updates are instantly reflected on the 2N device. And with that, we've explored the full range of features in the new 2N Crestron Home Driver. If there's a feature you'd like to see, don't hesitate to reach out. We're listening, and we move fast. See you in the next video.